It's interesting you didn't speak about, you didn't speak about education. Uh, if you want to change the culture, um, would you feel that um, we need to start talking about it in the schools? Certainly, but uh, I, I meant it more when I talked about the this cultural and the spiritual right. heritage driven, it has to come from educational institutions that come from the home, mm. it has come from parents, it has come from the, the religious leaders, mm. to the mm. whole lot. Mm. Uh, certainly the culture, even before the school, it's a culture at home yeah, yeah. and uh, most importantly culture which is today made and fa uh, shaped by media mm. uh, must bring this into the focus. It's very it's interesting that you say that because there was a film last year that uh, with a very popular Sinhala film actor, uh, all of the posters were brandishing a gun. Um, and some people said to me that it almost gives the message that without a gun you really can't do or achieve anything. The, the, the actor was a hero in the movie and a hero who was downtrodden and came to power it's sort of like a Robin Hood story, but the Robin Hood, uh, the, the the bow and cross arrow, you know, the, the, the long one, the you know, the, the long bow was replaced by the gun, and it was, it was very visible in all the posters. You know, you juxtapose that with images in in the news media of uh, government ministers brandishing guns and threatening journalists, and you really have a, a huge problem, don't you? I mean, in terms of the media culture uh, in this country. I think role models have to come because some of them realize that this is a problem for governance as mm. well as democracy and their own mm. future existence. Mm. But what they say, it's very difficult now that people, this is like a status symbol. Mm. This is what the yeah, uh, who understands yeah. this high up in government mm. who recently spoke to civil society and said, we are totally with you but first we must be the role models. But for us, this has become a part of a status symbol. Mm. 200 people uh, in a convoy going with us, or we have 200 uh, strong uh, uh, oh, to look yeah, after yeah, us, private, uh, a private yeah. and uh, yeah. uh, 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 official, yeah. and uh, you know we. It, it's a that's again a cultural change. It is a cultural change. But you know, Sanjana, just to end on this note, I mean we're running out of time. But South Africa post apartheid, post 96, right? It is reeling in crime. It, is, it does not know what to do with crime, particularly small arms related crime. Uh, so a wonderful success story on one, on one side and, and, a, and a country just, just doesn't know what to do. So we are not alone in this, are we? No, I, I think there are lots of examples of what we sh should not do yeah. and what we should do. And I think it's up to uh, civil society, leaders, and I think above all, our religious community who must now come to change this culture. Firstly, even if they have endorsed the killings uh, for the sake of sovereignty, then yeah. let's not go back to that issue, yeah. but at least now let us be realistic with the philosophy that we are going to talk to our younger generations. And what will you be doing to champion that? Well, we are trying to lobby the, 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 the people in power lobby the religious community and also get some publications into uh, the hands of people right. uh, is the three things that are now so that at least the society is educated Correct. is the move. Uh, and to study, I mean the, you have mentioned in the past that there needs to be a rigorous study on and, uh, exactly the, the cause and effect of small arms in a society post-conflict or post-war society such as ours uh, and the negative consequences, that's also something that you'll be doing, is it? Well, I think there is enough of those that we can look at case studies plus what has been done. So now I it's think about now action. it's more action that yep. is required yep. and more, even more important people to realize that more than matata tita, tuakwata tita is a thing that will have a greater impact on society and those, the welfare of those in governance. Chanda, I think that's a wonderful note to uh, end our discussion on. Um, uh, Chanda Jayaratna is the former chairperson of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce uh, and we wish him all the best in his endeavours in the future in this regard. Thank you very much. Yes.